hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be talking about cold sores and cold sores are called herpes simplex virus type 1 there are two types of herpes simplex viruses there's type 1 and type 2 so today we will talk about herpes simplex type 1 also called cold sores or fever blisters so what is a cold sore cold sore is a virus and it's caused by the herpes simplex virus the type 1 it can be caused from things like stress uh, it can be caused by hormonal changes so when women are going through their monthly cycle they may notice that they get more cold sores during that time if you have trauma to the mouth or if you have a dental surgery this can also trigger a cold sore it can be caused by extreme cold or extreme sun so if you get sunburns on the face that can also trigger a cold sore so and what are the signs and symptoms of cold sores cold sores are usually for instance usually present as blisters that are tingly they're itchy they're painful blisters that form on the mouth or around the mouth sometimes in extreme cases they can also form on the side of the face so it usually starts with that little tingling and then within a day or two then it forms the blisters that are watery and itchy and painful cold sores are very common so approximately 3 billion people around the world have herpes simplex virus 1 infections so in any local area so for example in Canada it is present in about 20 to 40 percent of the general population so that's pretty common there are two types of herpes virus there is herpes virus 1 and there is herpes virus herpes simplex virus 2 herpes simplex virus is very contagious whether type 1 or type 2 it is very contagious and it can be transmitted very easily it is transmitted by mouth to mouth contact and via contact with saliva so it can be transmitted by kissing by your saliva being on objects so it is very contagious it cannot be cured it is a lifelong infection but it can be treated so let us look at some of the treatments of herpes simplex virus there are prescription drugs that are available and these are usually the antivirals the antivirals are the acyclovir tablets or the topical ointment or creams there is famcyclovir and there is valacyclovir so these are prescriptions so when you see your doctor your doctor will prescribe one of these and you would use them appropriately over the counter there is a breva and a breva is an antiviral that is over the counter that helps to reduce the duration of the of the blister of the symptoms of herpes simplex virus one there are natural treatments that are available they recommend that you can use a hot or a cold compress and this may ease the itchiness of the lesion you can apply a cold compress to painful areas and this is also helpful remember to wash your hands before and after touching these sores because they are very contagious you can use honey on the area they recommend a special honey called kanuka honey and that can be applied for nine days and that's studies have shown that this helps you can take garlic tablets or take natural garlic you can increase your vitamin supplements so vitamin d and vitamin e 
lysine is also a very good treatment and prevention of cold sores so lysine is available in your health food stores or some pharmacies and you would take like one gram daily and this helps to prevent the cold sores to prevent catching a cold sore we recommend that you avoid oral con contact so no kissing no sharing utensils do not drink from the same glass or cup as someone who has an active blister on the mouth and do not share any objects that will have contact with your saliva abstain from oral sex because if there is an active sore on the mouth and you take part in oral sex then you will transmit the virus from the mouth to the genitalia protect the lips from from sunburn so wear a chopstick or a lip gloss with an spf of 30 or higher and you can also use a sun protection on your face because sometimes the cold sore can also be on the side of the face and sunburn can be a trigger try to reduce stress as much as possible eat well get enough sleep and just remember to always wash your hands before and after applying or touching the face especially if there's an active cold sore on the face so there you go guys if you want to see more healthy videos remember to like comment and subscribe i hope you found this video informative and have a blessed day. Thank you.